so in modern measurement system the various component comprising uh, the system are usually located at a distance from each to another it therefore becomes necessary to transmit data between them through some uh, form of communication channels uh, the terms data transmission refers to the process by which the information regarding the quantity being measured is transmitted to location for application like data processing, recording, or displaying. Multiplexing is the process of transmitting several separated information channels over the same communication circuit simultaneously without uh, interfering uh, signal interfering uh, between uh, those signals. There are two basic types of multiplexing, time division multiplexion and frequency division multiplexion. In today's lab, we are going to perform time division multiplexing by using time division multiplexer, which is consist of a decade counter IC4017 and the time uh, and the timing register uh, to speed the time and the time division multiplexion generator using IC555 timer IC which is also known as timer IC. In TDM, several information channels are transmitted over the same communication circuit simultaneously using a time sharing technique. As an example, PAM waveform can be generated that have a low duty cycle. Duty cycle means the on time or and off time the, of the uh, waveform. Uh, here we can see this is the on time of the waveform and this is the off time of the waveform. If both the on time and off time are same, we can uh, call this. Uh, we can call this uh, this waveform have fifty percent of duty cycle. This means if that uh, this means that if a single channel is transmitted, most of the transmission time would be wasted. Instead, this is fully utilized by transmitting pulses from other PM signal during the intervals. A PM TDM waveform for three channels is uh, shown in this. Uh, um, time division of time division multiplexer trainer kit uh, we can see here two four and seven and <coughs> three uh, this uh, there are seven so the first pulse is a synchronizing pulse which is used as receiver in the demultiplexing the first is used for the uh, synchronizing pulse which is used at the receiver in the demultiplexion. The second pulse is amplitude modulated by the channel. The second pulse is amplitude modulated by the channel. The third by channel 2 and the fourth by channel 3. This set of pulses is called a frame. Four complete frame is uh, we are going to see in the OCR. Let's uh, draw the circuit first. Uh, let's connect the circuit first. First of all, uh, first of all, let's connect power supply. The power supply. Uh, uh, we are just seeing here the um, output of the TK uh, counter, and second is the just synchronization pulse, and the third is. Uh, this one and four, the one is this one and the fifth one is this one. All are just uh, pulses. So let's complete the circuit first. Connect this output, which is uh, dot 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 form, to the TDM generator. And for second, connect this point to this point. And the for the output, connect CRO, digital CRO port to the TDM output section. And let's complete the circuit. This one is for synchronization. This one is for channel first. This one is for channel second. 
and this one is for channel top and then and then set this uh, switch to the mid range uh, over the mid range which is indicated in this trainer kit so it's easy to find the mid range and then and then connect this crown port uh, to this port and the inbuilt 5 volt supply to this ticket counter connected after connecting and pressing auto we can see here some waveform let's scale it and let's try to make it stable though So, I couldn't make it stable, so I'm going to stop it and explain you. Let's move the position. The first waveform, which is small waveform, is indicates that the sync pulse. That means the uh, channel is separated from uh, first channel to uh, first ending uh, starting channel is indicating and the for the first channel we can see here one waveform and the for, from second channel we can here we see uh, the second waveform and the for the third channel we see here the third waveform after uh, moving the position at the last we can also see the sync pulse which is which indicates the end of the uh, this time slot so all are all the channel 1 channel 2 and channel 3 switches are um, placed in the middle mid range so let's uh, first of all let's let's uh, uh, turn this uh, channel 1 channel uh, ch1 channel 1 uh, clockwise to the fully fully clockwise fully clockwise and press the auto and stop it now we can see there is a uh, we can see there is a difference between the first channel waveform and the second channel waveform the channel first waveform is larger than the channel 2 waveform and the channel 3 waveform here you can see this one is a sync pulse and this waveform indicates the uh, channel first waveform and this uh, this one is a sec uh, second channel waveform and uh, at the last this one is a third channel waveform and then uh, at the last this is a sync pulse when the channel first is fully uh, uh, turned clockwise the uh, time uh, waveform slot is uh, seen larger if i uh, uh, if i rotate anti clockwise fully this channel one uh, switch now just press uh, auto and let's stop it and let's compare this waveform again let's see Not here, let's pause and stop again and let's see. Let's compare. The first one is for sync pulse, and the second one is for channel one, which is swing to the small waveform compared to the channel two waveform and channel three waveform. Similarly, uh, put uh, channel one switch in the mid, mid range again. And and uh, channel two switch uh, rotate the channel two switch clockwise fully clockwise 
and compare this waveform again. This one is a for the first channel waveform and this one is second channel waveform. This is larger than the channel one waveform and the channel two waveform. Now just rotate the uh, channel two uh, switch fully anti-clockwise and press the auto button of the shear. Now let's stop it and compare it. Here you can see the second channel waveform is smaller than the third channel waveform and the first channel waveform. Now place the second uh, channel switch to the mid range again. Now <coughs> Rotate fully clockwise to the channel 3 switch and press auto. Now you can see what I'm going to show you. Just you can see by here. This one is a starting pulse which is small and this one is for channel 1 waveform. This one indicates the channel 2 waveform and the channel 3 waveform is larger than the channel 1 waveform and channel 2 waveform. If I rotate anti-clockwise fully to this channel 3 switch and press auto, then what I, I will get is the channel 3, channel 3, third channel waveform, the third channel waveform is smaller than the first channel waveform and second channel waveform, this is it's smaller you can see by this we can perform and measure the waveform output of different channel at the different time slot thank you